Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. A little bit different this week. We've been chugging away pretty hard on Rufus here, but time to take a break from that. And guess what? It fits. It, it kind of fits. It's hanging out the door. Anyway, there's space in front of it. We could pull it forward and it would fit as you can. Well, yeah, there's, there's rooms there, but today breaks. It needs brakes. I'm not going to fix the brakes the right way, but we're going to have brakes in theory. If I know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. While I'm working on getting the Hydrovac system bypassed on this thing, dad's going to get the oil changed on it. And uh, we might be able to take this thing on a joyride today before it gets dark. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Probably not. But. We're going to get as far as we can. I'm going to get you guys set up and we're going to get started on this thing. So we're off to an amazing start here with this. This is our biggest crescent wrench. And this right here is pure frustration. <laughs> This thing lacks probably, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch slipping over this thing. Can't say that I've ever had an issue with uh, not having a big enough wrench to get the drain plug out. So here's kind of what I got going on. This Hydrovac system starts right here. You see this? mess with all kinds of brake hoses coming off of it well you got one that comes right here into this hydrovac and it runs through the hydrovac builds vacuum comes back out into this little block again and then pushes fluid to the rear brakes past that and you have power brakes at that point right and it runs off engine vacuum coming from Right here, this runs up to the engine. Well, the problem is, these have a diaphragm inside of them, right about in in this general area, and it's it, it's not diaphragming anymore. So I've got, every time I run this thing with brake fluid in the master cylinder, it'll suck, pull enough vacuum to suck brake fluid right up into the motor. And obviously not good, start smoking like a freight train. So what we're gonna do, unhook line here, unhook line here, three bolts. We're gonna throw this thing across the yard. And then I've got a short piece of brake line and a couple fittings. I'm going to hook this to this. And then in theory, it's not the ideal situation, but in theory, we should be able to bleed the brakes out and have some manual brakes at least. So I'm gonna get you guys set up and I'm going to start twisting these brake line fittings off because, well, they don't look the goodest. So I've got them soaking. We'll see if I can get them loose. Now, I've said it more than once already, and I'm sure it's not going to be the last time I've said, or I do say it. But I am convinced that the fact that this thing held fescue seed all its life, it's the only reason it's not as rotten as it is. I cannot believe that those fittings backed out as easy as they did. All right, let's get this thing dismounted, get this thing out of here so I can work on hooking yay up to yay. We're just going to have manual brakes for a little while. Probably not ideal for putting stuff in the bed or doing anything really as big as this is but it needs to have brakes. So I'm giving it brakes. So I've got this piece of brake line bent up fairly close where it needs to be. It's not anywhere near perfect and I don't have an actual tubing bender and you could tell kind of kinked it up a little bit, but I'm gonna get under there, see if this is the shape we need, see if we can get this fit up to these two lines and get this thing bypassed so we can get to bleeding some brakes. So 
I've been here getting these brakes ready to go. I'm ready to bleed brakes. Been waiting on dad to get back with an adequately sized wrench for this massive drain plug. Dad just pulled in. I'm ready to go. What have you been doing? Come on now. making good progress but we has problem large problem check this out as much as I wish that was from brake bleeder that's bone dry no that's that's wheel cylinder that's a problem so we're gonna do the right thing for now and continue bleeding the rest of them hoping the wheel cylinders don't leak We got problems. So getting plenty of fluid to the back brakes, bled out just fine until the driver's wheel cylinder started dripping, we'll call it. Then decided to move to the front wheels. No fluid at either of them anywhere after pumping up, trying to bleed them, no fluid. And I've got a good pedal. I've got a really good pedal. And next thing you know, uh, Wheel cylinder on the back driver's side seems to have healed. So I have no clue what's going on and I really don't want to tear into the brake system on this thing any more than I have to, at least not right now. So we may just end up sticking with what we got for the time being. cylinder or two or three or four so I'm afraid this is where we call it for tonight. for tonight I really don't want to tear into those brakes time for wheel cylinder sounds like My 
My guess would be that the wheel cylinders are seized in the front. Is that an ice cream? Do you hear an ice cream truck? I, I think I swear I'm hearing an ice cream truck. Come outside with me. Nope. No ice cream truck. Yes, no ice cream truck. Marbles. Never had them to begin with. Yeah, yeah, wheel cylinder gave out. Drip. Drip. Yeah, that's going to be... We're officially involved in the brake system on this thing. We're at kind of a dead end with the brakes for right now. We don't have parts, nor... I don't really want to mess with it, so... That's a project for another day, I suppose. I was hoping to get to drive this thing today, but... That large puddle underneath two, the wheel cylinder two large puddles well one large puddle one not quite so large one's a one's maybe a domestic assault charge the other one's murder right yeah something like that anyway homicide definite murder she wrote no. 48 hours 48 hours mystery <laughs> anyway all is not lost. We're gonna drop the oil on this thing right quick, get the get the filter changed out, and then At least we've done something. We've done something, and that's what I mean, we got gears. We can move it if we need to. It's nice to have stops. So I'm gonna get under there, get the oil dropped out of it with what'd you get? Did you get a big pipe wrench or Yeah, that pipe wrench. So that's pipe the wrench work. That's the right thing. So Gonna get the oil dropped out of it. Get the oil changed. That way, at least we can make something out of today. Then go boop. That's a little different than what I thought it was. I feel kind of worthless today. Not gonna lie. Should have had brakes. Did have brakes. And actually, get this. Went to back it out. 
I had brakes. It stopped. I stopped on the freaking hill out here. I don't understand it. But at the same time, well, my bad. Might not have had the oil filter gasket on there just right, and it might have been puking oil out as I was backing it out. So, kind of had to stop and get that fixed. Well, it's fixed. So, tonight, I'm going to finish this one off. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed that mess of whatever it was. A long, drawn-out version of getting nothing accomplished. So, if you guys enjoy it, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that very much. Drop a like. Let me know what you're thinking. Comment. Do you hate the truck? Do you love the truck? What about Rufus? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Or even, you know what? There's been one video made on it. The Cutlass. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to finish this one off here. So, until next time, and I'll see you guys very soon, hopefully. Have a good night, guys.